Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage and today we're going to be trying out the Sharpies S Note Duo markers. Uh, I don't know what kind of marker these are to be honest with you. I'm assuming they're water based. I th thought they were highlighters or mild liners, but I'm not sure. So on the back it says chisel tip and fine bullet tip. And dual ended design sparks both creativity and precision and they have like a little bullet journal on the back here. And it says the case stands up like an easel for easy access. Now, I'm all for companies making their garbage into something practical, but we all know that nobody keeps this. <laughs> like, I certainly am not going to keep this plastic once I figure out where I'm sorting it away to. But, you know, if you do keep the containers of everything, everything comes in, let me know, because I feel like nobody does that. Oh god, how do I even do this? Is this too complicated for my little brain? Ow! <laughs> Wait, um, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, I figured it out, hold on. Can't get it in though. Wait, how do you do this? Okay, alright, okay. No, yes? I don't know. It popped back out of the other lots. Okay, so <laughs> this is what happens when you put it all together. Okay, so here are the colors. They look very similar, like the two rows look similar, but I think like one's lighter and one's darker, and then one has brown and one has gray. I guess we'll see. We gotta get out our notebook here that we're gonna use them in. So I'm gonna be using a notebook that I prototyped um, from Amazon. The paper's fine, I don't like the hardcover. But I do actively use this notebook. It bothers me when it's in easel mode like this that it's reverse rainbow, so I gotta fix that. Must appease the rainbow gods. That's much better. So I will start in the front row and work my way back. Oh god, I can't even open it. Holy crap, what? Jesus. Oh my god, that's a tight fit. Mm. Okay, so here is the chisel nib. It is a very small one. Smaller than what I feel highlighters typically are. Oh, it's a daughter. Oh, it's so cute. A tiny little baby daughter. Oh my god. They're calling that a bullet nib, by the way. But, you know, Sharpie kind of calls things what they want. Like, if you notice their their fine point is like a standard bullet nib type, then they had to name their actual like fine liners ultra fine or whatever. But let's go ahead and start swatching. This is already annoying me. Get out of my way. Ooh, it's pretty dark, actually. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, I like that color. Alright, so here they all are all swatched. I already decided I hate this one. I'm going to take them out of that. <laughs> I would say all the colors are pretty different. These two colors do look similar, but one's like a lighter version and one's a darker version. I love the little tiny daughter. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> Ignore that. I was trying to fit them together, but it didn't work. Also, I wanted to you guys something. I discovered it while I was swatching here. The chisel nibs are flexible. Like, I don't know how, how I'm gonna show you guys this. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. Look. Okay, so, look. Can you see that? <laughs> like, 
The nibs are super flexible. It's great. I don't know how that's helping the world, but I don't know. I really like how they're flexible. I love the colors. They are super vibrant. So now I'm going to try to to use them kind of like highlighters or mild liners in this case. They are by no means mild, but I want to see if they work together to be used as like a highlighter. They get cool like bullet journal effects. So I have like a handful of different ink types and brands here that are typical for a bullet journalist or planner or like writer in general to see if they work together well. So don't mind my really bad handwriting. <laughs> All right, so I kind of decided to do what I feel like typical like bullet journalers and planners would use. I have a lot more than this. It's just I didn't want to pull out brands nobody's ever heard of before. <laughs> I'm going to use yellow because I feel like yellow would definitely have the most noticeable streakiness to it. All right, so this is a paint marker. I'm hoping that it won't bleed or drag and doesn't look like it did here's z grip it's just a ballpoint pen i'm sure it's very similar to other ballpoint pens like bic i don't think it bled here's the micron paper mate now that is bleeding and streaking Intel sign. Mine's actually pretty dry. <laughs> My Fudonosuke Tombow. The Arteza Twin. I'm going to switch colors here because I want to see how transparent these truly are. So I'm going to take the brown because I think it's the darkest color here. It's pretty similar <laughs> to the rest of the colors, but... I want to see if we can still see things through. So we have the Jelly Roll Moonlight. Oh, it's actually a really cool effect. The Five Below Light Pen Flex. And the Paper Me Ink Joy. So I would say most of them probably could be used as like a highlighter but I would be aware of the color that you're laying down first. Like if it's black, it's not going to be a problem. But if you're going to do colors, you might want to like figure out what goes best together because two of my reds turned dark. The, the jelly roll didn't though, but I think that's just because jelly roll is special. <laughs> As for streakiness and like smudging, I would say the only one that really did it was the paper mate flare. Now they all had about the same dry time because I wrote them all at like the same time. So I'm just trying to say here that I think the paper mate had a fair chance at drying. But it happened to be the only streaky one. I think the Pentel sign could potentially be streaky, but mine is running out. I don't know, know why I still have it. Like it should be trashed already. <laughs> oh, let's see how much they bled through the paper. Okay, so this is Amazon paper. If you've had like a coloring book you purchased off of Amazon that was self-published or if you bought like a self-published book off of Amazon, it's going to be the same kind of paper. So be aware that it's thinner. So let's go ahead and see the bleed. Don't mind my list on the other side. There's definitely a lot of ghosting. And the only thing that bled is the orange because I was showing you the flexi nib. So I think it has potential to transfer like it did right here. I know these look like similar colors, but this is a uh, different, <laughs> these are different pens, I, I promise. This is not for you to actually look at here. This is just the back of the page. So I would keep that in mind that they do have potential to bleed depending on what your paper is. If you're using like 
the high class fancy schmancy bullet journal brands <laughs> you might not have this problem but yeah i decided to test out on this paper because one it's something i was already using and just want to fill the pages in for and two because i feel like it's a paper type that more people have access to i really like the tiny daughters they're calling it a bullet tip but it is just a daughter like let me pull out what my daughters look like i have three different kinds of daughters here you could tell i like these <laughs> i like daughters i don't know why but they all well, except for this one. This is more of a stamper, actually. Let me put this one away. They all have this really rounded end to them. That's why I'm more inclined to call this a daughter. Because bullet tips are more like this, where they have like a skewed end. So, I don't know. I'm going to call them a daughter because it's a daughter. <laughs> also, I'm going to comment on this because I just opened the Sharpie. There's no smell to these. So if you're worried about Sharpie having that smell, it doesn't have it. I also really like the matte finish on the barrel and it actually like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually skewed a little bit. Like one end is wider than the other and it's so subtle that I didn't notice it. I don't know, it's just like really a really nice barrel and feel to it. The caps at first are hard to get off though. All right, I'm going to swatch some of the Zebra Mild Liners just so you guys can like see a, if there is a difference because I'm not sure. And they also have a bullet nib end, but theirs is actually like a bullet nib and not like a daughter shape. I did not think about this when I swatched this stuff here. But you get the picture. I would say that these feel a little bit more like dry without actually being dried out, if that makes sense. And they make more of a, like a sound when you use them. So if that kind of sensory stuff bothers you, I would say do the Sharpies over the Zebra Mild Liners. Now, do I think these are essential for people going to school, college, teaching, bullet journalers, planners? No, but if you're an adult with money and you want them, get them. <laughs> They're really cool. I like them. Do they stand out against other brands? Maybe not, but I think their daughter end is what really makes them unique. Again, they're calling it a bullet. So, like, I use my daughters as check boxes. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work with this tiny little daughter. These could work really good as bullets, though. Like, if you're, like, making separate points, you know what bullets are for. What am I explaining that for? But yeah, those are all my thoughts and opinions about these Sharpie S note. The container is a cool idea if like you really keep your stuff in the container, in the packages that they come in. I'm not, so to me it's just more garbage, unfortunately, but I'm glad that they're making an attempt at having less waste. But that is going to be it for me today. It was a quicker video, not really any art in it, but this is more like a back to school kind of video. <laughs> so if you guys want to see another video where I do an actual DIY or something for back to school, you can go ahead and tap the thumbnail here. Oh, here. And if you want to catch up on anything you missed, you can go ahead and tap the thumbnail here. Right here. Sorry. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube -y things of comment, liking, subscribing, and turning on that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.